So I was literally stuck on calculus homework one night and I realized I had my professional network and I had my social network, but I didn't have a knowledge network. So I, I tried my social network, I tried reaching out to my friends, but I couldn't get the help that I needed. And that's where I realized it'd be great to have a place where we could actually post the questions and talk about things specifically academic. Food.me is a Facebook application and we switched Facebook into study mode. So what that means is we've created this place on Facebook where students and teachers can go online and they can post their questions and collaborate with each other. So a student can come in and ask about a particular problem that they're having on the homework or a teacher could then come in and maybe later hold virtual office hours to try to get homework questions answered. And we're, we're trying to solve the problem of connecting you with people that can help you either right now or later um, when you're working on, on homework, projects, whatever. Here uh, is an example of a study session where you can see we've got group video conferencing. We can go in and... So it's been a very incremental approach for us. There have been different stages where we've hit some sort of climax and realized, okay, we've made it to the next stage and we need to keep pushing. So the first was three-day startup. That was when we pitched the idea here at UT. The second was when we flew out to Miami and actually pitched it for the first time as a company instead of just a business plan competition idea. And when we went up on stage there and we were the youngest people at the entire conference on stage and ended up winning the competition, outright winning over everyone, that was a pivotal moment for us. That's where we realized that this has mass appeal. That was the first time really anyone besides the three of us and you know Doug Kanana really thought that this idea was worth the you know, it was pretty much validation that you know other people agree that this is a great idea and that you know it could actually become something real. As far as resources go, the Austin Technology Incubator has been the longest standing here at the university and they were the first ones that we reached out to. But since then, we've been really fortunate to have a number of other resources pop up around us. One of the greatest things about this is that, you know, me, uh, me and Sid, but like we've essentially taken the last year off of our university careers and yet we can still graduate in the four year time frame. Well, what was most interesting was the fact that, you know, the university said, hey, you guys are working on something really cool. Why don't you take the time off? We'll, we'll figure it out. So the, the biggest thing is the community and being surrounded by like minded individuals. So people who are passionate about the same types of things and, and want to push intellectual bounds. I came to college and the only thing I knew about it was that, hey, it is the one great gateway to future success. And that's really ambiguous. And I guess, you know, people think that, oh, it's the classes and everything that that is that gateway. But really, I feel like through my experience, the most important part of college is really just trying, you know, things like Hoot and meeting people with the same interests or, or that are thinking about the same problems. Well, if we scale it out to like, you know, 20 or 30, we have this great community that fosters it, which is the most important thing. It's, I, I can almost see a future at UT where, you know, yes, researching is the thing to do, but building startups is just as accessible. And I think it's the best time to be at UT for that reason.